I'm Janelle York. Welcome back to another episode of York and Spoon. So today I have teamed up with my friend Jack over at the Vegetarian Baker. And he says it so well that I'm just going to let him tell you what I'm making today. Hello everyone and welcome to the Vegetarian Baker. On this episode, we are making vegan overnight oatmeal. This recipe is a collaboration with Janelle of York and Spoon. She's making a coconut yogurt that's delicious. I'm using that as my base for the overnight oatmeal. Okay, so as said, I am going to make a coconut yogurt. So technically this isn't truly a yogurt. It does not have active cultures, but it's going to be that nice, rich, yogurty, smooth consistency. And I'm going to call it a yogurt because I have nothing better to call it. You could, if you wanted to add some probiotics, open up your capsule and stir it into your yogurt. That works too. But what we're gonna do today is add just a handful of ingredients to the blender. And so I've got a coconut here to show you. This is not the kind of coconut you actually wanna use for this recipe. It's just here for aesthetics today. I went to four supermarkets to find young Thai coconuts and couldn't find them. So you may be in that boat too. And I'm gonna tell you what I'm doing instead because you don't have to drive all over if you can't find those. What you can use instead is frozen coconut meat, which you can find in the freezer section at some regular supermarkets and especially Asian markets. I couldn't make it to the Asian market this time. It is a bit further from home. I tried the four local grocery stores, but I usually buy my young type coconuts there in a case. Actually, I can usually get a case of nine for $10.99 to $13.99, depending on the time of year, which is a very good price. But I just bought frozen coconut flesh and thawed that in the fridge. So this is shredded, but sometimes it comes in chunks. And you just want to make sure that it's just coconut flesh and no added sugar and nothing else added to that. So you want one cup, or if you were actually using the coconuts, about the flesh of two coconuts, which we'd hope would be about one cup. So we're going to add that. That's the base of our recipe. I've got just a tiny little pinch of sea salt here, the juice of one half of a small lime. So that gives us kind of the tanginess that comes with yogurt. I have one teaspoon of vanilla. That's optional. We're making kind of a vanilla yogurt today, but if you don't want to use that, you can leave that out. You could use some fresh scraped vanilla bean as well. Then we have three dates that I have just pitted and soaked really well so that they're nice and soft and ready to blend. And then lastly, we have your non-dairy milk of choice. So I have three quarters cup here, but we'll see how much I need. We don't want this to be too liquidy, but we need enough to get it blending. So up to three quarters cup is required for this recipe. And today I am just using original almond but that just happens to be what's on sale. You could use any kind that you like, and you can also go back. I've done videos on how to make your own milks at home. So I'm going to add about half of this to start with and see how we do with the blender. We are nice and thick and smooth. So I'm going to be fancy and serve this in my cocktail glass today. But if you want to see how to elevate this recipe, then head over to Jack's channel, The Vegetarian Baker. I'll link it below as well as make it click clickable on the screen there. And he's going to take this yogurt and use it as the base for his overnight oat parfaits, which look delicious. And I've got everything ready to give it a try as well. If you missed last week's giveaway video, also go check that out. I just got back from Expo West and I have a box full of almost 50. I'm calling it over 40, but I think it's 45 if I counted correct vegan products for you to try just by subscribing here, but you need to go comment on that video. And then there's some ways to make some bonus entries as well. So thank you for tuning in.